So these are tempera cakes. It's a different kind of paint, similar to watercolor. You can almost use it like a watercolor, um, but they have a, a different kind of a base to them. We call them cakes because they're like little bricks of color. Hopefully when you get your paints, they're all clean, but sometimes they're not. So this is how we clean them up. Go ahead and get our brush wet. Activate the paint just by rubbing your brush inside of it. We're getting all that nasty color kind of mixed in. Clean out your brush. And your can should be half full of water. You don't want it all the way full in case there's a spill. Then you take your brush and squeeze off the water. And now your brush will act like a sponge and pick up all of the bad mixture that was in there. And now you have clean paint to work with. So again, just add a little bit of water to the paint Pet it with the brush, that'll activate the paint, and then you go ahead and put it in where it is that you want it to go. Try and use just the tip of the brush if you're getting near an edge, and you fill in the area as best you can. Now, some images will be outlined like this one in pen, and at other times you may just be working in pencil. Each situation will be a little different. So be careful at the edges and fill in the middle uh, pretty quickly. Now, you can blend colors by overlapping them. So here, well, the orange isn't looking all that great. So again, I'm going to activate that color. Get it wet. Clean off my brush. Squeeze it. Then pick up the excess color with the brush that's like a sponge now. Okay. And then clean it off and I'm ready to go. So again, activate the color by adding a little water. And I could use this to paint in an area if I wanted to. So what if I wanted to overlap a little bit of red and orange? They're neighboring colors, so they blend nicely. So I can go ahead and put that in, overlapping a little bit and I can let it blend away as the brush kind of runs out of paint. It'll fade to the red that's there. Another neighboring color is yellow. Red and yellow make orange, so yellow is another color I can kind of play with in there. Maybe I'm going to overlap that in some of these far corners. You always want to make sure that when you're painting, um, you have some paper underneath so that it can catch any spills. If you accidentally get a little color on, on there, it's easy to kind of clean that up. Uh, if it was going on the table, then it's a little harder to clean up. So again, we're going to continue painting on. You notice I've gone right up to the lines. I don't want to have any white spaces around there. It's okay to overlap colors if you'd like to. Just make sure you're cleaning your brush in between each new color, and that'll keep the cakes of paint nice and clean. You do know how to clean them out now if you do come across a color that doesn't look like it's been put away properly. Make sure at the end that all of your cakes are clean so that the next person who gets them has a nice set to work with.